It's on right now. Yep. Hi. Hey. You're all in a video now. Wave. Woo, yeah. You're all gonna be on YouTube. A bunch of people you don't know are gonna stare at you. It's gonna be great. You guys are all real people. This is so cool. You have like real skin and bones and like real names and probably that's so fun. Back to talking to the camera lens again. What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's fish tank bringing it to you with some cichlid action. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're bringing you part one of a two-part series talking about cichlids. A couple weeks back, I was invited out to the Rocky Mountain Cichlid Association to talk to them about plants. Plant guy talking to cichlid people about plants. But it was awesome. I had an absolute riot. That club is always fantastic and they always rolled out. I had a really good time. And then the next day I rolled around with my man Kevin to a bunch of different fish rooms. This is my man Matt's house. Uh, he was super interactive during my talk. I had an absolute riot talking to him during that. And then to see his house the next day was a real treat for me. It's all about the cichlids in this video, folks. We've got haps. We've got peacocks. We've got Frontosas, we've got Lalupe, we've got Burchardi, we've got a bunch of other rare Tanganyikans, we've got Compressiceps, we've got some South American Severums, we've got Walrus. This video has something for everybody in the cichlid lover. So do me a favor, folks. If you like this video, give it a like, thumbs up, share the whole thing, subscribe, notifications, all that fun stuff for me. Helps me, helps you. And drop me a comment on what you think about these different cichlids and what cichlids you think your boy Dustin should be keeping someday. I do have the cichlid itch kind of itching right now. So drop me a comment on what you think about the cichlids in this video, part one of a two-part series over at Matt's house out in Colorado. Enjoy. Colorado hospitality. Kevin just pulled up. Where are we going, my man? We are going to head up to Matt and Cameron Schumann. I've never even been to this house. No. It's great. I told him, I was like, I just get in the car, I shut the door, he picks me up. This is uh, the worst, worst things to do on a Saturday in Colorado. That looks good, man. Like the uh, Gorgonia. I haven't seen one of those in a while. It's the Tang. I had a purple Tang myself. Named Rhonda. <laughs> That's my favorite fish in that. Oh, dude. They're, they're great they're fish. Gorgeous. Some of those are Bob Grower. I was going to say, what are these bad boys? Those are the uh, Red Rainbow, the Kasanga Red Rainbow. Those are tight. That big rock in the middle is actually a Bob Grower rock. I wanted to have a little sign made. You should, man. <laughs> put it on there. Bob. Bob's rock. Click the links around. Check out Bob's old fish room. <laughs> He wants me to come down to Florida and say hello. In fact, the remainder of his fish room when we finish tearing it down is all that wood and cinder block. That's really? Out there, Cause that's what I'm gonna use. The garage Man, is eventually gonna become. I would have loved to have been there when Bob Grower tore down that room. Dude, it he was. had so much stuff. It, and it was, it was cool. It was, it was cool to see. Just to point well, out some stuff for us. Yes, you, I'm not, I'm not a very uh, knowledgeable. That's sick. actually a wild cop blue Samazi. Wild Usually caught blue samosa. The, 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 the big frontosa. The big frontosa is a wild caught. Mm -hmm. And his color is better than that typically? Usually, yeah. yeah. Better than that guy's? Yeah. yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, he's usually That's one a, of the stars. And then uh, Star Sapphire, female Kylis. That's cool. It's got the little uh, big male Rostratus. Got some cool breed dress on right now. Yeah, what are these? I remember these. It's a... Uh, this one is the Mori. Yeah, Mori. Yes. Yeah, the Mori Dolphin. It's actually a Cares fish now. Yeah. My buddy Brian had one of those a while back. I love this. The Dark Peacock. Dini. This guy's actually which is, beautiful which one? when he gets his full breed dress. This guy back going I, this way. I can see he's got the other orange underneath. He gets underneath. this cool little rub, uh, robber's mask and his fins just go fire red. Yeah, you could tell his fins probably get pretty cool looking. He's getting a little color just now, a little something. I love the peacocks. I always have. I These always guys have. are cool. These are the uh, tilapia. Tilapia? Yeah. Like just straight up They're, tilapia? Yeah. What type are they? Like the silver? They're, there's blue and there's... They get like a bluish green. They get a really cool... Those look cool. Bright red that they get in them. Those are better looking than the tilapia I've seen. There's... Couple varieties of them yeah. that I've seen. That's a. Do you have any idea? This they is came. Uh, they're Oreochromis something. I can't remember. Um, they they were at one of our auctions, and I cool. snagged them. I like their red eyes. Yeah, they look good. That could be a cool. They do a really cool, dude. funny group 
behavior where they'll all come up to the surface and they'll all just kind of chomp along the surface all together in like a formation. Really? Kind of neat. Oh, dude, I want to see that when they, uh, that makes me want to get some. That's a nice, uh, I think it's, was that a, a peacock back there? Like? That's a half, Hatch. it's a Spilonotus. It's a Laluli. Those actually came from Bob Grower. When I first got them, they were about that big, but I don't know, two years yeah. ago or so. <laughs> and then there's fry from the Dardenne down here because they breed. Which of these fry? I'll point out to the parent fish real quick. So the, the Dardenne, where did he go? That guy back there, the one that's got the cool. The guy right coming. And, yep, this guy. Coming up front right there. Okay, gotcha. That guy. And then his fry are these right here. Oh, nice. And then there's also some albino super red empresses. You should those it. That one. What size tank is this, dude? That's a 92 corner. Wow. I stole that tank. I got everything from the outlet out for 300 bucks, and it had about 30 super red empresses in it when I Get got it. Get out. I sold the red empresses for more than the tank. What it cost me. So. Wow, dude. That's a score and a half. There's I the, love those uh, Severs, dude. Those are awesome. Yeah, those are the uh, red shoulders. Those are great. So they'll get some pretty fire color here. Those yeah, guys those are, are starting to turn white. Those are our Genties. They're one of the few, like, almost solid white fish. Are these, cool. are these barred Severs the same? What are those? Uh, yeah, they're all the same. They're all red shoulders. They're all called red. Those are red shoulders? Wow. Yeah. Those look they really good. Them. Uh, Red shoulder severums. Those look I think great. Is the name they have for them. I've always, I've always liked severums. Hey, we got more. I want these severums. I don't know how big these, they get. They get big. How big? Uh, he said real large, like, uh, like, like big. They want these size ten yards. So they're one of my favorites for sure. I got a lot of them. Then we got some uh, Pellegrini in there. Um, there's some of the yellow fire mouths. Where are those? Uh, this guy back here is one of them. They actually get a real bright yellow. I saw some of fire red. mouths at Myers the other day and had just a real cool look to them. This is a cool setup, man. There's a pair of Nicaraguenses in there, these guys. The little Nicaraguenses. What do you run the water in this? Do you test it at all? Or? Uh, it's just my straight tap. Yeah. So it's actually pretty high pH for what they should be, but they also they don't care. do really well. They look the driftwood in there probably helps bring it down yeah. a little bit. Those look super healthy though. They don't look that remotely. What's, what's this guy? That's the Argenti. It's one of the Viejas. Where are they from? Uh, they're Central American. I'm not sure exactly where they're collected. It happens. Oh, there's some, some small sensibilums in there too. These guys with the kind of rainbowy color to them. Those are the small sensibilums. I, I like got the one coloration big one. on that. And then there's a few catfish and plecos in there that. Cool. Over here, check this guy out. That is a flurry clownfish who actually has some of the blue abnormality. Wow. Yeah, he's right. right at his tail where his white meets. He's got that blue that clownfish rarely get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's that's sweet, that if dude. If those two ever breed, I could get some pretty cool offspring. That's sweet, dude. That is a cool fish. Mm -hmm. And some of my acros are suffering in that tank greatly. I don't know why. I cannot figure it out. I don't know if I've got a pest in there that's eating them or what, but I've had three acros just deteriorate the last two days, which is painful. Yeah, I'm about to say. I've always liked those. So what is that? SP, yeah. Green star polyp. I was gonna say star polyps. Is that a, uh, what is that? Finger coral? What's that? That's uh, another type of acro, I think. Oh, that's an acro? Uh, oh. There's a cool uh, alter ego frag that's up there. That's that little teeny tiny nub. Oh, yeah. If you actually look those up, they're amazing when they get big. Oh, yeah. Did you get that at Reef Stock? I did. I spent about twelve hundred dollars. Oh wow! You were a kid when you said you spent too much. <laughs> yeah. right. Roll over here. I didn't look behind me. Huh? 
Yeah, that's the big SACA tank. That's got all the big guys in it. You can get over to that in a second here. What's in here, man? Compressor saps? Uh, yeah, so there's some um, Xenotilapia Yellow Princess, and there's some um, uh, Nikimba Bay Calvis, and then a stupid rare Cipochromis that there's literally no information on. Like, you can Google it and nothing comes up. It's a uh, Macula, Cipochromis Macula. Other than its collection point, we know nothing about it. We don't know what color it'll be or how big Ooh, it that's is. Cool. It's a jumbo or regular. Matt, they showed up on the stock list that, about fish. And oh, yeah? Matt sent me a message. And I started off with 14 of them, and they've just not done awesome. They've kind of, I think I'm down to, I think there's five now. I don't know why. They, I had them in there and figured the tank was too busy for them. Sure. Um, so I moved them over and they still, like, just completely randomly one dies, like, mm. for no apparent reason whatsoever. So I can't figure it out. Nothing else in that tank has problems. Nothing in that tank has died in forever. So I don't know what it is, but. Here's the alter ego. This is actually where I came from. Love the Bashardi. Love the Bouchard here. Yeah, cool. They got such great fins. They that do. tank is very quickly becoming one of my favorites. The color of this tank is amazing. I just need to learn how to plant plants in a more organized fashion. But, and after his talk last night, I found out why some of this thing used to be so thick. So, so uh -huh. thick. And it's just dwindled back. But after last night, I think I know why that sand, it's that yeah. fine sand and it's packing in around it. That's it. So, so you can watch the sand, dude. Yeah. You can watch what the sand's not doing well. Yep. That sand's actually better than some, but clearly you got some plant growth. Fronts look awesome. Yeah, those are uh, the blue Samazis. Those are F1s. Really? I love these ones too. I've seen these before with these little egg spots on their fins. Those are wicked. Dude, those are so What the that, hell is that, that guy? That is the feather fin and watch him. He's like a maniac right Dude, now. Dude, he looks like a maniac. Oh, watch him. My he's, buddy Brian, who was at the show, would be shitting himself if he saw these. He is going to be dancing sick. on That thing the is place. wicked, man. Those tips on that fin, oh. Those are egg That's spots. Hot. Egg spots? Those are egg spots. What's and that what mean? he's doing is he's trying to attract the female over to a pit. And he'll lay those down, and she'll think those are eggs, and she's she'll drop eggs, and she'll pick them up in her mouth, and then she goes to pick up those, and that's when she he fertilizes the eggs in her mouth. No. Very cool, very cool to watch that. And right now he must be tired because he's been dancing all well, morning. Well, he's, he's a good looking dude. He's better. Yo, click the links jealous. around. I got Bob's video linked up for that. Those are Bob's fish. Are they really? <laughs> those are I've seen those fish, fish before, dude. Good. Yeah. Check out these dudes in a 125. Yeah, those came from Bob. Those are Bob's fish, huh? He'll be sad. These came from that. Bob, the Calyptris. Yeah. There's a pair of those in there. Did you get those Bashardi from Bob too? Uh, no, I think those. Well, they came from a Bob. I think those came from Bob Allen. Hey, uh, who? Uh, did anybody get those? Uh, uh the Pandagara. Remember those? Do you yes, remember Cameron his has some. Cameron got his Pandagara. Yeah, oh, dude, he had some tanks. really cool Pandagara. The big orange lalupi came from. Bob. I love lalupi, man. Always have. They're, they're. I love their personality. I just think that they're so like, I'm here and I will mess you up and I'm gonna be cool. Is that? I mean, do, do, how did they exhibit for you? They're pretty much the same. Like they don't really mess with anybody, but if they got to hold down, they will. That's that's what I love about them. I mean, they're they seem beautiful. They down with each other harder than anything. Really, that's good to know. Dude, if I were to, I'm, I'm thinking about doing this 300 cichlids like this. I got it. I was thinking about They're really. Fun. Yeah. I love this tank. This one said this became one of my favorite tanks. I was like hesitant to do it because you never really see a whole lot of like tanging community type yeah. tanks, but I love it. And it's like I don't have hardly any issues in there. I mean, I had my eel in there, and he did great until I screwed up. What'd you do? Forgot to plug the heater in after a water change. Okay. All of a sudden I saw all my calvis down there, like half dead, and I was like, what the hell? Stuck my finger in the tank and it was ice cold. I was like, son of a bitch. Been there, bro. Looked underneath. We've all there, done like, it. Damn it. Yeah, we've we all, all have done, done it. it. We've we all done, done it. it. Yeah. 
So I lost my eel was cool. The one, the uh, first one I yeah, had. Yeah, one of those was, cool tangy-deaky eels. Yeah. My buddy Brian had some of those. And he was always out. I had him on pellets. Uh huh. He was all really this way, gentlemen. About. Great looking oh. stuff, dude. Thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, folks, do me a favor. Drop me a comment on what you think about part one of this cichlid video here. What cichlids you like the most? Uh, what cichlids you think Dustin should keep? I do have some favorites. I do like the Lupe, the Burchardi, but drop me a comment on what cichlids you're keeping or what I should keep and why down in the comments for me. Hit that notifications button and that subscribe button. We'll talk to you manana with part two of this where we show more massive sevrum, some really cool plecos, and then a bunch of planet tanks for you all. Yes, folks. Everybody have an awesome day. Talk to you manana and tank on.